My name is Zach Zeka. My name is Joseph Othon. My name is Simon Padilla. Stephanie Von Fange. Pikes Peak Community College's gallery I really have um, a strong fondness for as a former student of Pikes Peak Community College um, and a student of the gallery director, Laura Benamont. So I really have uh, a strong affiliation with it as um, you know, part of my artistic path. I actually went to school at PPCC and was in Laura Benamont's um, fine art classes. It was excellent. I have um, maybe three or four instructors that I think I'll always remember for my whole life and uh, the things that I was taught by them will also um, just, uh, keep with me. I don't think that uh, I would have continued on to uh, the career path that I'm on without the influences that I found here at Pikes Peak Community College when I was a student here. Well, I used to work actually at the downtown campus over here at Pikes Peak Community College and I'm aware of the type of galleries that they put on and I mean, they're just phenomenal. If you enjoy art, it's somewhere to come. I love it. It's, uh, the gallery's been amazing. It's, uh, it's been exciting and it's been a great opportunity to show some of my stuff and be able to do things um, that are my style only, you know, Sometimes with tattooing, you have to conform to whatever the client wants, which is awesome, but it's great to just be able to do your own thing. The art pieces I do um, are primarily visual documents um, of trees, creating a memorial for the trees. So it becomes uh, essentially a memorial to the tree, but also um, a grave marker for where the site of the Black Forest Fire happened and the site of the death of the tree. I sort of just uh, go through my day and let images settle, interact, and uh, let subconscious processes sort of do their thing. And then um, I'll do some sketches, get into the studio, start underpainting, and just sort of let things flow. I do a lot of uh, printing work, you know, I do a lot of kinkos and stuff and send them out throughout the town. I'm really into street art, so those were kind of my way to get art out there before I was tattooing on people and sending them off with my designs. Really like like the amount of detail right here, and yeah, like I, 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 the shading is just amazing. It's kind of bringing all my skills together to bring to, make, to create the mural using body flow and uh, you know a lot of just different styles and things that I've taken from tattooing. I'm interested in signs and symbols um, and what how things um, relate and communicate uh, ideas. Um, so I typically think about things that. I experienced growing up as a child and then try to think about like what they mean. Everybody has a different interpretation of what art is. Go for what you're passionate about and explore why you do things in a particular way. Don't let yourself be discouraged by the space between what you want to be making and the space that you are making because uh, the only way to get there is through work. I so really have a strong affiliation with it as you know, part of my artistic path. There's always a reason you're doing certain things and that will help you develop the conceptual side of your artwork. Well, I love art. I always go to art galleries. The gallery's been amazing. It's, uh, it's been exciting and it's been a great opportunity to, to show some of my stuff and be able to do things um, that are my style only. I've actually, as a student, put some of these shows together. Uh, this was going back years ago. It's a lot of work, and uh, they do they do really good work. And they just, they they paint the whole thing, you know, back and forth, and they're they're excellent. I know Laura has a lot of experience with curating, and she's done an excellent job making it a wonderful venue to hang out and to look at art.